Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to properly move your Windows applications from one PC to another. Now until I found this solution, the challenge on how to properly move my apps from one PC to another has been one of the bottlenecks I have to deal with when I think of upgrading or changing my PC. The first concern naturally is the safety of my data. I want to ensure I back up my files, especially those files that are not synced on Google Drive. Once that is done, the next major bottleneck for me is my applications. And I'm not talking about having to reinstall them but rather having to redo all the settings and configurations I have been making on them for several years. For instance, I use Premiere Pro to edit my videos and also Photoshop for photo editing. Now, over the years, I have continually made various changes to my workspaces on these apps to improve my work efficiency. Changes like import settings, export settings, precepts, custom tools, custom icons, custom effects, essential graphics, and so on. Now, if I have to reinstall these apps freshly on a new PC, I will lose all these settings and customizations, and that could significantly affect the quality and efficiency of my work. And that is where the solution in this tutorial comes in handy. It allows you to completely move your applications from one Windows PC to another, or from one disk to another, without losing your settings, without losing your customizations. And now, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the tool I'll be using for this process is the Easels to do PC Trans tool. As the name implies, this tool allows you to migrate all your data, applications, and accounts from one PC to another. It offers three possible modes to perform this migration. First is using the PC to PC option. Here you need to have both computers connected to the same local area network, and then you can transfer your files and applications directly from one computer to another via the network. The second approach is via backup and restore. Here you are able to back up your applications and files if you want to another disk attached to your computer. And afterwards, you are able to restore these files and applications to either the same PC or a different PC. This is obviously the feature we'll be using for our use case. But there's also a third approach, which is the app migration option. This allows you to move your apps from one disk on your PC to another disk on the same PC. With this, you are able to save some space on the source disk. However, both the source and the destination disks will need to be attached to the computer each time you run the applications. And that is how it differs from the backup and restore option. So in using the backup and restore option, this tool creates an image file of your chosen programs and allows you to move these programs to another PC via this image file in a way that retains all the settings and configurations of the transferred applications. You will find a link to download this tool down in the video description. Unfortunately, the free version of this tool doesn't offer the services we need for this procedure, so a paid version is required. And to that, I have reached out to Ezos after trying out this tool, and they have agreed to offer you, the viewers, a 20% discount on any version of this tool if you use the coupon code EasyText at checkout. They also have a bunch of other useful tools like Data Recovery Wizard, Disk Management Tools, Backup and Restore Tools, as well as various videos and audio editing tools you can try out so when you click on the link in the video description it should take you to a page like this and from here you can choose to either download or to buy now i will just download for now it's a very light file it should be done in a bit next you simply click to start the installation here click install and wait for the process to complete And within a few minutes, it should be done installing and you should have a page like this. Here you can just click start now to launch the app. Now, Ezos has made this tool almost completely intuitive to use. Here, as you can see, the layout is very simplified and each function pretty much speaks to its purpose. Again, you require a full version to be able to use the features needed for this process. So if you have purchased your license, you can simply head over and click on this upgrade to full version button. And right below that, you can click on enter license. Then paste your license code and hit activate. And that should immediately activate the app. Now, it's important to mention here that each license key entitles you to two activations at a time. Obviously, because some of the features require having two PCs concurrently running the apps to complete the process. 
Also, if during the process you need to reinstall the tool and the license for any reason refuses to reactivate, you can always contact ESOS to reset the license key for free as long as it's within your subscription period. With that said, I will go ahead to back up my applications. To do that, I will first attach the drive where I want to copy my apps to. Then on this page, click on Backup and Restore. Start. Next. And then choose a name for your backup. I will just use EasyText. Then on the backup location, it automatically chooses the attached storage. If you are not sure of the level of the storage drive you attached, you can simply click on Browse, this PC, select the right drive and hit Select Folder. Now, if you want, you can also choose a folder instead of a drive. It doesn't matter. Afterwards, hit Confirm. Now, it shows you a list of all your installed apps in three categories supported unsupported and existing here as you can see most of the apps are supported the unsupported apps are just drivers so under the supported apps i will select all the apps i want to move to my new pc now here you should remember that the ESOS tool also retains all your settings on each app for me that is a key benefit once again because i have some apps that i have been using for years and over time i've made several changes to the default settings to enable me work more efficiently so being able to retain these settings and configurations after moving these apps to a new pc is very important for me of course if there are apps you no longer need you can skip them in the selection Above here, it tells me how many apps I have selected and the storage space they will take. Here, I will have a bit over 2 gigs of storage space required. I have more than that on the USB, so I will just hit backup to start the process. It's really that simple. Here above, you can see the progress of the transfer. Now, the transfer time obviously depends on the number and size of apps you have to backup. Also, the processing power of your computer could contribute to that. While that happens, let's talk a bit about licensing of the applications. Some apps are activated locally on your device, while others are activated via an activation server that the app is synchronized to when you use it. For locally activated apps, they will remain activated after the transfer. But for apps that activate via remote activation servers, you will need to save your license to reactivate them after the transfer or you can contact the license provider to reactivate the app afterwards. Now at the end of the backup, it should say completed. For my case, this took about 20 minutes to complete. And here it shows a summary of all the apps that have been backed up. And now when I go to the folder where I saved the backup file, and I have these two image files, EasyText and EasyText1. So it split the apps into two image files. Now, as you can see, the end files were larger than the 2 gigs earlier estimated. So it's important to ensure you have sufficient space on the drive you choose to use for this backup. Now, to restore your applications on the new PC, you first need to install the ESOS to do PC Trans tool once again. So simply visit the website, download the tool, install and activate again as we did earlier. Now, if you have some default Windows apps like OneDrive or Edge and you want to retain your old configurations, then you should first uninstall them from the new PC before transferring the ones from the old PC. Afterwards, plug in the drive where you save the image files of your applications. Then on the ESOS tool, click on Backup and Restore. Here, click Start and select Data Restore. Hit Next. And here it shows the existing backup files I can restore from. Here use the browse option to locate your image files. Then hover over the image file and click restore to begin the process. It opens up this page showing all the apps I can restore. Now instead of 10 apps here we have 8 apps. And that is obviously because the two other apps are already installed automatically during Windows installation as one of the Windows default applications. So if you have such default Windows apps and you want to retain your settings from the old app, then first uninstall them from the new PC before performing this process. Here I will simply select all and then click on restore to begin the restore process. Now again, this will take some time depending on how much apps you have backed up. Just wait patiently for the process to complete.
Afterwards, you should have all your applications properly moved back to the new PC with the same settings with the same configurations. Even the desktop shortcuts are restored just as they were on the old PC. Now you will need to restart to consolidate the whole process. And with that, we have successfully moved our Windows applications from one PC to another without losing any settings and without losing any custom configurations. Again, the link to the ease to do PC Trans tool will be in the video description. You can use the coupon code EASYTEXT for a 20% discount if you choose to buy. And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.